What's going on guys? I finally did it. I found the fix for the frame drop issue in Far Cry 6 and I'm going to show you how to fix it here today. At first I'm going to ramble on for a little bit. I apologize but I've got, I've got to say what I got to say and uh, that is that I had this issue about six months ago and initially I'd opened up a ticket with Ubisoft. This ticket lasted for about three months basically to, to no resolve and the way that the the reps, technicians, whatever you want to call them, whatever they call themselves, the way that they handled the whole situation was pretty piss poor. They offered no solutions. They would just kind of go through a checklist of troubleshooting options. And they had me send the DX Diag, MS Info, all this good stuff, but never actually tried to like really troubleshoot or figure out what the issue was with the game. There, there's no real effort that went into it. And after I saw that we weren't getting anywhere, I asked if they could issue a refund. They weren't even going to entertain that option at all. So after, you know, about three months, I, I just, I said, screw it. I, I uninstalled the game and I stopped caring about it. And it wasn't until recently that I was like, you know what? I, I still kind of want to play that game. I paid good money for it. I bought the game when it came out like an idiot. I should have waited. But I, I bought the game when it came out. And... Um, I barely get to play it and see the thing is when the game first launched there's some issues with textures or whatever but the game overall played great and I was really surprised and it wasn't until they did some sort of patch update whatever that uh, that the game just broke it just broke itself or you know they did something but it stopped working and uh, after a while messing with them I, I said screw it uninstall the game and I stopped caring and I recently came back to it and I found actually that a ton of people are now having this issue. It didn't seem like it was a widely spread issue at the time that I was experiencing it. But now revisiting this, you know, going back to their forums, it, there's a ton of people having the same issue. And this is only one thread. There's like three or four threads that I found about this specific subject. And I even posted in there, you know, about my experience with the Ubisoft reps and how you know how badly of a job that they did and they started deleting my my comments and I'll show you that here actually and they were you know if I'm if I'm being very honest with you they they were still pretty tasteful it wasn't in favor of Ubisoft but I wasn't cursing I wasn't really bashing anybody but I get this notification here and says you have received a warning for this post more specifically for the following reason trolling and or naming and shaming whatever that means um all i was trying to do is let people know that i'm also experiencing the same issue that ubisoft wasn't going to offer them any sort of resolution and basically so they wouldn't waste their time like i did and uh ubisoft just uh they took it personally and they deleted it and that's kind of why i'm, I'm making this video and also to help you guys out you, you paid good money for this game we all work hard for our money games are expensive and it's not fair that you paid sixty dollars for this game and you haven't been able to play it so i think the whole situation was handled poorly as somebody who works in it the way that they handled my ticket specifically was awful they a couple of reps were even arguing with me about the specifications of my monitor and how that's the problem and it just seems like they didn't really have like the the knowledge needed to be in the position that they're in to you know to troubleshoot and whatever else it's just um a little bit embarrassing honestly and discouraging but with all that said i'm going to show you how to fix the game so you can finally play this okay so let's get into it the first thing you want to do is open up your file explorer and find where you installed the game i can't help you with that part but once you've found it come back here and we're going to go into the game folder and then we're going to find the bin folder from there we're going to find the far cry 6 executable and you want to right click here and go to properties compatibility and towards the bottom you're going to see disable full screen optimizations put a check mark in that box then hit apply and ok all right so that's half of it that was the hard part now is the easy part Click on your Windows, or hit your Windows key, whatever, and type in Game Mode, and you want to find Game Mode Settings. Open that up, and you want to turn Game Mode off. I don't know why this fixed it. I don't even really know what Game Mode does. I know it gives a description, but 
Uh, to be honest, with game mode on and off and all the games I've played, I've, I've noticed zero difference in performance or frame rate or whatever. In this case, it seems like the only thing it did is break Far Cry 6. So turn it off and then your game will work. Uh, that along with the other fix I showed you uh, will fix the game. And I can show you that actually. I went ahead and booted up the game. I'm going to show you that it's now working. We got smooth frame rate. And I know for some people the issue is a little... Oh, we got some drama going down. We got some drama going down. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. There's a horse on fire. Poor guy. Anyways, I know that the issue uh, doesn't start right when you boot the game. I know it kind of is random for a lot of people like it was for me. But I can say I've put about an hour or so of gameplay into this since I applied those fixes. And I haven't had any issues since. And um, it's a really easy fix. It's kind of embarrassing that Ubisoft didn't dig deep enough to find out what the problem was. It was such a simple fix. And is it a problem with their game or is it a problem with Windows? I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but the thing is, you know, this is Ubisoft's game. People paid good money for it and they, they should have they should have been able to figure this out. And I know what you're saying. Oh, well, if it's such an easy fix, you should have been able to figure it out months ago. I mean you've got you got kind of a good point, but at the same time, I didn't develop this game. I'm the consumer. I, I want to purchase the game, install it, and hit play and off to the races. I shouldn't have to mess around with their, with their game and troubleshoot and get it working or whatever. It should just work is the point. And uh, it kind of sucks. This is definitely going to be the last Ubisoft game that I buy. I, I don't want to give them any more of my money. They just handled that situation so poorly. And um, they burned me. So... It is what it is. I'm going to play this game and enjoy it. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it was worth the time. And hopefully, guys, this fixed it for you. And uh, if it did, let me know in the comments. If it didn't, also let me know in the comments. And maybe I'll explore a little bit further and see what I can figure out. But either way, I, I really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. I really hope that this helped you. Like I said, we, we all work hard for our money. And games are expensive. And it's only fair that we get to play them. So... Thanks a lot, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.